A heavyweight battle befitting a semi-final as Hawke's Bay host Tasman for a place in next week's decider. The Magpies have set the standard in their first season back in the Premiership. Top of the table, the Shield locked away and just one defeat, but they face the two-time defending champion, Marco. Signer again with his second carry in the movement. Advantage. Oh, penalty advantage coming the way of Tasman, and they'll have to blow it Not up. As Not clear enough. No relief. As Hunt lines up for the first points, potentially. Who <laughs> eventually does score the penalty. So Tasman on the board, three points to nil after four minutes. Just 10 metres on their own side of halfway. Front rows have popped up, but Chapman will clear for Hunt, who again just looks for a bit of territory, peeling off metres, bouncing high on the hard turf at McLean Park, but that is a wonderful catch. Yeah, it it's better yeah, than that. It's a 50 yeah. 20. Perfect attacking position. Makaleo to the middle, and the new man on Hicks brings that ball down, and they will drive. It's in the back with Martinger and Makaleo, the hooker. Tucked under the right wing of the big hooker, driving, driving, driving over. Perfect. Absolutely pinpoint clinical from Tasman, who get the first try in the semi final. Well, they do a Hawks Bay on Hawks Bay with that rolling mall. It'll be on Flanders, Flanders that they'll set. Tasman trying to get in and disrupt the Hawks Bay match. What the Marco just did to them. Devery's got it in the back. It's splintered and fractured, and Devery is. Probably closer than he realised. He's had to turn and spit it back, though, for Tawala, who comes in and plays at halfback. There's a lot of space, but not many numbers wide, and Ellie's wrapped up for the Magpies. And Tasman almost comes through and blow through, but Yenari was able to clear for Tawala, who flicks a little ball. It's low for the corner. Jonah Lowe with the finish, and what a ball from Tawala to set it up. And then watch the work here of Danny Tawala wrapping around. He's just so strong. But look at this pass. Undefendable and it's executed like that. Tawala, who's made a good start to the game, Martinga. Tasman pressing and it'll be a penalty. Use your arms, please. Watch for the penalty here for a grass cutter tackle. Uh, saying that a Pikatoa never used any arms and the tackle just went low. Hunt has been in the thick of the action and adds three more to Tasman's tally. To the front it is. And again, the quick transfer for Michele Tu. And now they drive. Tasman's defence is having a scramble back and crashing over. Out of nowhere. And it is the skipper, Parsons. This is a smart play. The pod comes around. There's hardly any defence from Tasman. Look at the numbers there from Hawks Bay. And then they march on through, but the skipper has the lock up. That is outstanding. McClutchy from the side brings it round, judges the breeze perfectly. So Tas Tasman with a chance to build again and strike. This time it's Newstub playing in at first receiver, allowing Hunt to run and finding Fa'anoku, Fa who gets through one and two, and then over the top of a third and finally is brought down five metres short. What a bullocking run, and it's set up Tasman here. Tariki Davita, four metres short. They go again, Fa'anoku, who started it all with that charge. Chapman looks left, goes right for Makaleo. Chapman He's wants up. his forwards in nice and tight. A little offload for Shelfoon. Chapman out left again. Hunt for Newstub diving over. And Andrew Newstub with the finish, but it was set up by his big number 13, one of the stars of the season, Fina Anuku, the provider, Newstub, the try scorer. One. Didn't quite strike it how he wanted, but it doesn't matter how it goes over as long as it gets there. So now Makaleo to throw for the co-captain Strange in his 50th, knocks it down with one hand, and there is Hunt and then back in field for Newstub, and Newstub's got pace and a player outside of all. It's been knocked down, scooped up again though by Nankerville, still on for Tasman here, the ball for Tabataba Nawai, it scoops out of one, and it... They're going to have a look. There was plenty on, but Tasman, I think they've gone in again here. Yeah, yeah, try. 
massive forward pass, tackled. I've missed. That's right. Mitch goes out the back door, and this one here, look at that. That's a metre and a half forward. Absolutely. That's just, that's just awful. Awful officiating. However, Tasman are the beneficiaries of that. Tubba Tubba no way. He's been strong for the start of this game. He gets over. Well, Michele too just brings it in for the Magpies, allowing NRE to clear away. Here's Toala in midfield, wrapped up by Segner. It's nice and quick for the Magpies halfback, though. McClutchy, little short ball in space for, for Mai. He's got Michele too. He's got Vicenia, but he's not going in need of And the Magpies do strike before half time. They punish the Tasman Hill discipline this time. And Marino Michele Tu'u scores for the home team. I'll tell you what, we've just been speaking about him. Lincoln McClutchy takes an absolute shot, but he dropped the ball off. And man, oh man, he created a massive hole. It's Tasman who lead Hawks Bay 25-17 at half time in the Premiership semi-final. Desperate to score first in this second half. And that's good ball as O'Connor tears away from the line out. And then straight up through the middle, Toalo has been very prominent. He's got them on the six metre, five metre line. Here they come, the Magpies, asking questions of the Mako defence again. Flanders bumps off one. Takes a couple to bring him down. Nice quick ball. Crick stretches out and they do get the first score after half time. Much needed for the Magpies. The big boys went to work and Critch crashes over. Clutchy to bring the gap back to one. Strikes it again, and the McLean Park crowd go up, and it is just a one-point lead for the Marco now. Into the middle they go for Michele too. Kaifa peels away, can't link up with Satsa, and it's there for Almor, the powerful ball runner, looking for the outside. Great skill from Newstub to pounce and scoop on that. But the turnover will be won by Vicenir, and doesn't he love it? Needed 15, to be made, yeah, desperately on. needed to be made. Had a crack here. Fifty-five meters out to put Hawks Bay in front. It's low and it's hard, and it's over. Stepping up in a big moment, Lincoln McClutchy. And for the first time in the match, he's put the Magpies in front. Look at that, just strikes yeah, it. Just oh, he just at the end, the exhale. <laughs> Got him. You can already see the winger scooting away. Tava Tava Nawai again to be the one to chase. He's not going to get close to this one, though, as it skies in field for Vicenia, who's got for Mai, who spins out of one tackle in almost a second as he brings it over halfway. Vicenia looks for the big cutout ball instead. He's found Faima Anuku, who should have too much gas. McClutchy coming across, little man on big man, and the big man wins. Faima Anuku turns it around and puts Tasman back into the lead. The ball, he just reloaded there, the Vicenia. And then from there, Faima Anuku still had a bit of work to do, but like you said, Ricky, the strength gets him over. To extend the lead to five. Curls it, curls it all, it's just away, just away. Hunt needs to put a little bit of footwork on as he's swamped by black and white jerseys. Playing advantage, can't get out of there. With Sapsford, his Tava Tava Nawai carries forward. Really muscling up in defence here, Hawks Bay. And now, oh, Hunt for a drop goal. He was playing under advantage, and a player down in back play too. OK, yeah, I heard yelling. Rolling away. Unfortunately, this really doesn't look good for young Anton Signet. Mitch Hunt with a couple of steps, and then he clears Tasman out to a six-point advantage with less than five minutes to play. It's now or never for the Hawks Bay Magpies. Kiriru Symes, Kaifa, Tasman lining up in defence one after the other. They have to get out of there though. Michele Tsu'u trying to get in there as Omoa. He might have won it back for Tasman. He has Omoa and they'll scamper it away. And Tasman are into the final That's again. Fine, isn't it? 
a grandstand finish to a grandstand match. Big plays, big turnovers, one at the moment. And it is the Tasman Mako who will get another chance to defend their title. Thanks, Richard.